Pelagouter truffles and today we're in the kitchen to make black truffle paste made from uh, black summer truffles or tuber stevum. This is a very simple dish uh, consisting of just three or four ingredients. Your black truffles, I've got a kilo and a half here, really good extra virgin olive oil, some nice quality salt and a little bit of garlic if you like. The equipment you'll need is a mortar and pestle or a blender or like multi mix or something like that and um, some type of grate and that's it afterwards a nice uh, jar to keep your paste in the fridge and you're ready to go so before i do anything i need to wash the truffles and I need to clean them very scrupulously because there's often a lot of earth trapped between these like nodules. Now you should only wash truffles right before you're about to use them. And there's a reason for this. Uh, from the moment truffles are unearthed, they start to lose their aroma. Now this is gradual, but we need to do whatever we can to keep as much of the truffle perfume as possible. So like a layer of dirt will help to preserve that aroma. And also you don't want to get truffles wet and then leave them hanging around. So now we're going to like wash them and then use them straight away. So first of all, these have been soaked just for a couple of minutes to loosen the dirt. And now I'm going to brush them and then wash them again. Truffles are all clean and we're ready to go. Now, the next step is to shave them. I have a little mandolin here, but you can use a regular grater, probably on the coarse side, and then just start grating. And this is going to take a while, so we'll come back when we finish grating them all. Stop. Right, so I've shaved my first batch of truffles into this bowl. And it smells absolutely delicious. Now I'm just going to start putting them into the mortar and begin to pound them with my pestle. Once they've had a good bash, I'll add a little bit of olive oil to aid the And this is thirsty work. I'm quite violent, so you need to have a nice cold beer. It's the middle of July. So it's the height of the black truffle season. And this is where we have a surplus at the moment. These are B grade black truffles, which means they're not restaurant quality. That's usually to do with their size. B grade can be under 20 grams, or they might have some imperfections. Either they've broken when they've come out of the earth, sometimes the dogs scratch them. Right. I've been beating away for a couple of minutes and large pieces have mostly disappeared and I'm starting to add a little bit of salt, crushing that down and I've been constantly adding just drops of olive oil. I want to get a nice kind of spreadable consistency and I'm going to add a little bit of garlic, not too much, I don't want this to be a very garlicky paste, just something to bring out the flavour of the truffle to make it pop. Oops. 
and just pushing it down. Um, uh, amazing smells coming out of this. Okay. So that's nearly ready to be jarred, I think. Okay, let me stop there. Right. Okay, so you can see the consistency is um, fairly spreadable and that all the truffle has been coated with the olive oil and well mixed. And now we're going to just pop this in a jar. Press it down, you don't want any air bubbles in there. And this jar's been sterilised, you can just boil that and then drain it. Make sure that the lid you have is a new one as well. I'll, I'll probably fill it up to here. And then top it with olive oil to cover. Put your lid on and it'll keep in the fridge for a few months, but it won't last a few months. There are so many uses for this from marinade, say to toppings, condiments on top of burgers. It'll disappear from your fridge, I think, within a couple of weeks if you like truffles, obviously. Okay, so that's all. Um, next time we'll be looking at some different ways to use this paste. We're going to be looking at my brother's favourite, the Black Widow Chicken. And that'll be uh, our hopefully next week. Okay, so goodbye from all of us at Pelagadja Truffles.